Hello and welcome to the Everything Bowtie Shop. Is there anything in particular that brings you in today or are you just browsing our selection of new bow ties? You have an event that you need a bow tie for? Uh, may I ask what kind of event it is? A wedding? Okay, perfect. Now, has there been a theme set for the wedding or any bow tie will do? Any bow tie? Okay, that makes this very simple. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the circumference of your neck and the length of your neck just so we can get the right size bow tie for you. And then I will show you our new shipment of bow ties. You came on the right day because we got some nice ones. So, let me just measure your neck first. Just stay very still for me. Four and a half inches. And let me just bring this around your neck. Fourteen inches around. All right, so I'm just going to break those down. And now I'm going to show you our selection of new bow ties. What we do here at Everything Bow Tie is categorize in four different ways. Pretty much the higher you go up the categories, the more stylish and flashy the bow ties are. So I'll start you with the least flashy, which is what I have on now. This is just a simple bow tie that wraps around the collar. You put it right over your head and then tighten it as it needs to be tightened. Uh, as you can see, there's no pattern and it's really not going to turn many heads. So for a wedding, this might be a good option unless you anticipate more people uh, getting patterns on their bow ties. If you would like to look at the selection, the next selection, Okay, very good. So like I said, we just got a new shipment in. So all of these are in brand new packages. So you know you're getting a brand new bow tie and very nice ones at that. So what I have for what I would consider the second level of flashiness is this purple bow tie. Now, this purple bow tie, as you can see, has very tiny metal studs on it. The metal studs add a little bit more flashiness to it, as well as the color. Obviously, a purple bow tie will turn a little bit more heads than a white one. So, let me show you what else we have in this category. Same bow tie, just a different color. As you can see, it still has the little metal studs in it to make it look like it's got a bit more flair. And I have a third bow tie in this category, which, as you can see, is yet again the same bow tie. But this time it's a blue bow tie. So, be 
based on how flashy you want to get this category the only differences are really the colors no added design but the studs give it a nice little look so let me just take these out of the packages and show you a little better look of these just like the one that I have on, what you're going to do is you're going to wrap it around your neck like so and then slide it into this slot, this ring into this slot and then you'll tighten it to where it feels right for your neck. And if you can't tell, it looks a little bit better when it's out of the packaging. So I'll show you the other two again. but outside of the packaging. And remember, we have more categories to look at after these three bow ties. What's nice about the black is it's got a nice little shine to it, if you can tell. The studs mixed with the diagonal pattern make for a very nice bow tie. Not too flashy, but definitely can get some note recognition. And of course the purple one, which is obviously the flashier of the three. Personally, this is my favorite of the three. Most people would not go straight for a purple bow tie, and I think that's why it's my favorite. It's a little bit more unique, like what I'm going to show you in the next couple categories. But, so, you've got purple, black, and blue to choose from in that category, or you can go with the plain one, like I have on here. Would you like me to show you the next category, though, of flashiness? Yeah, okay. So, this is a very dark purple bow tie. And let me just get it out of the package for you. As you can see here, it's a pretty flashy color. It's not quite black, but it's a very deep purple. It's very nice purple. And what it has on it is tree branches as a design. It's a subtle design, but a more interesting design for a bow tie. It almost looks like a bunch of stick figures making up the design of this bow tie so this is obviously a very nice choice one of my favorite bow ties here but we still have to get to my favorite but for right now in this category we also have this dark blue bow tie in the middle of each box. I 
I personally love the checkered pattern on this and I love the dark blue being my favorite color and if you find out that the theme is anything blue this is definitely your best choice for a bow tie so how about those two are these two that you would want to jump on right now or do you want to uh, go to the final and most stylish category you're probably going to take this one okay but you still want to see the others okay very good that works so the next three I have are very very stylish definitely will turn some heads definitely unique so I've got this red or maroon colored polka dot bow tie let me just get it out of the package for you As you can see, it's kind of a clownish bow tie. The reason you would wear this is to look pretty stunning as well as get people to turn their head a second time and go, wow, that's an interesting bow tie. Now, if it's a very casual wedding, I would not wear this one or the next two I'm about to show you just out of uh, respect, I guess. You don't want people looking at you more than the wedding party that's actually in the wedding. <laughs> but this is an option if you want to go as flashy as possible. But the next two is where it gets very interesting. Now these are the first striped bow ties that we've gotten in. here is a plain blue bow tie with gold stripes running diagonally along it honestly I don't know if I would consider this as flashy as you can go but it's definitely going to make people double take and looks very nice on a variety of suits for instance, it's very versatile. If I had this one on instead of the white one, it would look very well with the suit and shirt. So this is also a very good option if you're interested in this. Now this next one is what I would consider to be the most flashy, not because of a design, but because of the color. If you're somebody that really loves attention or really wants to be, I guess, a goofball, this would be the tie for you because it is hot pink. So just like the other metal studded ones, this one is the same except in a higher stylist category because it's pink. Now, just because it's pink does not mean it does not look good on males. Personally, this is one of my favorite bow ties. Uh, I don't know if you can see it too well, but there are little tiny white dots to add a little bit more character to this bow tie. But, like I said, if you're somebody that wants to turn heads more than anybody else this is definitely the bow tie for you because it's hot pink you know so 
So after everything I've shown you today, uh, do you know which one you would like? So you picked out this blue checkered one before. Would you still like to stick with that or do you have others that you would want to see again? Others? Okay. What ones would you like to see? The red polka dot? Okay. Would you like the pink one? All right, perfect. So these are the three you picked. Now, if you can only pick one, I mean, you have the option to buy all three if you want, but what one are you gonna go with? This is the one that was your favorite last time. You don't want that one? Okay. The pink is a little much for a wedding. I do agree. All right, so. You picked probably the most flashiest pattern one. But it is a very nice bow tie, and this is how it would look if you were wearing a suit kind of like mine. Obviously a very stylish and beautiful patterned bow tie. So. Let me get this back in the bag for you and I'll send you on your way. And would you like a bigger bag to put your bow tie in? Yes? Okay. And here you go. I just want to thank you for coming into my everything bow tie shop and I hope it looks great. Have a very good day.